Well, hello everyone and thanks for joining me. I hope this one's working. I've been trying some other options to get online and don't guess it's working. So I hope this does. All right, I don't have my hands free as I had planned. So I'm just gonna have to be creative here and see if I can show you how to do this delicious dish with just one hand. Thank you guys so much for being here and uh, you know, I can see the comments below as you're talking. So if you have a comment, please let me know. If you have a question, uh, let me know and I'll try to address it. Give me some uh, likes or hearts or something like that. Oh, hey, Mindy, how are you? Good to see you. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, well, you know, this just uh, is an example where the best plans sometimes go awry. And I'm going to give you a little look here. I had everything all set up. You know, I was going to broadcast from here. Let me turn this sound down so that it's not coming through twice. And I have a um, camera all set up. Hmm. Okay. And the, the bandwidth on this is a little bit tough, so I hope it's going to work. <laughs> Alrighty, let's let's. All right, so what I'm going to make is what I call sweet and tangy carrot, no, sweet and tangy sweet potatoes, but I added carrots, and I'm going to mash it all up. So I'm going to call it sweet, um, sweet and tangy sweet potatoes and carrot mash. So I hope that you're going to really enjoy that. And um, let me just show you what I'm doing here. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will try to address those. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Pam. How you guys doing? Alrighty. I turn the camera back around and hope my bandwidth stays with me. Okay, so here's how it starts uh, with sweet potatoes and carrots. And I use pretty big sweet potatoes, so you can see it's like the size of my hand. It's a pretty big one. I use two of those. And I use some pretty big carrots. Again, relative to my hand, it's about almost twice the size of my hand. So it's um, three big carrots. And I boiled them, brought them to a boil that took about 10 minutes, turned them on to simmer, that was about 20 minutes. And now they're all nice and soft and a good consistency right here. Um, so sweet potato is wonderful. And I love carrots. I had some extras, so that's why I decided to use the carrots also. Uh, so I'm going to mash these guys up, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, some of the ingredients that I'm going to be adding here. Uh, one of those is a little Earth Balance. This is a great vegan butter. You know, some people, in fact, just this past weekend at a party, somebody told me, oh, I would, I would go vegan, but I just can't do it without butter. I say, oh my gosh, there's such fantastic vegan butters available these days. You have to try them. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use um, two big tablespoons of butter and uh, vegan butter again. And I'm going to turn it on back here front just a little bit. Just for those of you guys uh, um, news, I've never done a live cooking demo before. Uh, and I've never used this technology. I've never even made this exact dish. I've made some variations of it. So it's all an adventure. I like adventure, so I hope that you like it too. Uh, let's see, sweet potato skin still on. Yes, and that is a great question. While this uh, butter's heating up, let's um, talk about that. So you, I, whoops, yeah. I like the, the uh, sweet potato skin still on because they have a lot of nutrition. Uh, they have, uh, you know, it adds the fi to the fiber, so it has more fiber. That's great for keeping you regular, lower your, in your cholesterol, uh, regulating your blood sugar. Um, I'm looking at some of my notes here. That uh, has more beta carotene by leaving the skins, uh, more vi vitamin A. And um, just in general, you know, there's more vitamin A, vitamin E, folate, potassium, and iron. And in fact, I was going to tell you guys, um, that sweet potatoes are one of the absolute healthiest foods. I need a napkin because my hands got a little messy there. Anyway, they're one of the absolute healthiest foods. In fact, they were ranked as the number one top nutritional veggie by the Center for Science, Center for Science in the Public Interest. 
So I think that's a good sign. All right, back to my little butter thing. Look at that. What other questions do you guys have as we're going here? Again, just getting that a little bit hot. And oh boy, we're going to have fun trying to do the garlic. And, you know, another reason that I leave the potato skins on is because it's faster. And I, I like, um, I don't like to take a lot of time. So I like things to go fast. All right. Um, I try to minimize the amount of time that I'm doing things. Okay, so what I'm taking is uh, some already peeled garlic. I just keep a jar of this in the fridge. I don't use the organic version. I find this at Publix in the in the uh, produce section. Oh, that's probably a little too much. But you know what? I love garlic, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, for those of you who aren't so crazy about garlic, you might rather have uh, about half that amount. So, you know, just three or four cloves, something like that. In fact, that probably still is a little bit much for what the taste I'm trying to get here today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back that out. Now, here's another time-saving trick. I uh, The recipe calls for a little bit of gar uh, ginger. And I love ginger. So I'm going to uh, put the ginger. I put the ginger and the garlic in the food processor at the same time. And again, that's kind of a lot of ginger. I really like it. So if you aren't so crazy about ginger, you might not use quite as much. And here's where we get into the issue of me doing it with one hand instead of the fancy um, no hands method that I had set up that didn't work. All right, now I'm going to take my little mini processor. I love this processor. It's a, I think it's a part of the Ninja family. I got it when I bought a blender. And um, this is my favorite tool. I use it all the time. So I'm just going to pulse it one, two, three, four times. And... Mm, still too chunky. So I'm going to pulse it again, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so about six or eight times there on the pulsing for that. And um, so that's going to give me nice little garlic and ginger. Now, what I do sometimes is I make up extra of this because I use it in, I uh, use that in all kinds of different recipes. I use it in salad dressings, and um, if I make a Chinese dish, I use it. So I love garlic and ginger, and I. I also don't, you might notice, I didn't peel the ginger. Now, I don't know if that's more nutritional, but it certainly saves me a lot of time. If you do want to peel it, you can do it. Um, you can use a spoon to knock the peel, uh, peels off. But to me, it tastes fine, and it saves me time. So that's why I do it that way. All right, so I'm going to pour the, oops, let's go back to the camera. All right, uh, any more questions, guys? Okay, hey, Pam, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, if you guys are out there, let me know. So, say something in the comments so I know that you're here. All right, so I'm pouring as best I can here with my trying to show you what I'm doing. I can't show you quite this because it's just too hard. All right, so I'm getting a good look at the carrots and potatoes there. What I did with the sweet potatoes, you can boil them whole, but I did cut them into quarters since they were such big sweet potatoes, and I wanted to be sure that they got all nice and tender. And I did cut the carrots up a little bit. Again, I'm all for saving time, so I generally just put things in there, smaller sweet potatoes sometimes, and just um, boil them all together. Okay, so now I have uh, these ingredients. So we've got the garlic and the, um, and the ginger, so that makes a nice start with the butter. It's nice and buttery. Then let's make it a little bit more sweet, and I'm going to add some pure maple syrup. Now, one thing I learned this morning is that grade B maple syrup is actually more healthy than grade A. What I have on hand is grade A, so I'm going to use grade A. And the recipe, uh, this is one that I've modified from something else that I found. And um, it calls for about a third of a cup, so I'm going to go just barely a third of a cup. And mm, that's a little bit less than a third of a cup. I'm going to add a little bit more here. I see Mindy is asking another question. Let me see what that question is while I'm here. But all right, so just put the maple syrup in there. What's your question, Mindy? Love how your little southern accent comes out when you do these live videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's true. Okay, Patricia, hey, how you doing? Have to get one of those food processors. Oh, yeah, it's so awesome. I have a bigger one, too, but I use a small one all the time. Okay. And potato skins, ginger skins still on. And any more questions, just keep them, keep them coming, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, now here's the really cool extra super duper ingredient that you wouldn't think about. And I certainly wouldn't have thought about. But 
This is what I learned will be awesome in this. So I'm going to add, do you know about Asian chili garlic sauce? Oh my gosh, this is the best stuff. Now, let me just give a, a big asterisk here that says, in general, I don't like to use processed anything. But you can see the bulk of the food is going to be the uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes and the carrots. Um, if you're watching your weight or you have high blood pressure or heart disease, you might want to leave out the butter. It's still going to taste really good without the butter, uh, but the butter has a lot of oils, so I would leave those out. And, um, you know, there's processed, I use a little bit of processed foods for flavoring and that sort of thing. So I'm going to get the chili garlic sauce. Now, go easy on this in the beginning because it can be kind of strong. I really like it and I know that I like it. So I'm gonna go with a full, almost a full tablespoon there. And I'm gonna put it back over the heat here, heat it up, just stir this up, whisk it up a little bit. Alrighty, looking good. Now, oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good. <laughs> okay, alrighty, here we go. Now I'm going to pour this over the potatoes. Okay, there we go. And turn off this heat over here. Let's see if I can mash this up with one hand while I'm answering Patricia's question. Patricia, how many carbs are in a serving? I'm type 2 diabetes and have been having problems with my A... What does that say? With your A something C? A1C. Okay, so the... Let's see. So the dietitian has been on me to decrease the amount of carbs per meal. Well, I do not know the amount of carbs. I don't count carbs. I don't count calories. Uh, I don't do any of those things anymore because I've just found that for me it's a waste of time. Now I'm not, I don't have type 2 diabetes. But what I understand from a lot of the research that I've done and from many experts is that when you're eating a whole food plant-based diet like I do, that you don't have to watch out for the carbs as much because if you're eating a nice variety of vegetables and fruits, uh, some beans, and your, you know, your, uh, let's see, what else do we have here in the plant-based family? You could have some nuts and things like that. Then you're getting the proper nutrients and carbs are probably going to work work themselves out. As uh, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was talking about that that the um, sweet potatoes are one of the absolute healthiest plants that you could be eating, one of the absolute healthiest plants, um, foods in the world. You know, many cultures survive on these completely, and they don't, in those cultures, they don't have diabetes. They don't have heart disease. They don't have a lot of the things that we have here in the Western world because we eat so much processed food and because we eat so much animal food. So let's see. All right, so Mindy says, I've heard sweet potatoes are lower carb than white potatoes. I think that's true. And I have, um, I have read some dietitians um, giving a little bit of concern over, over white potatoes with diabetes, but I've also read several that I believe that are really good doctors that say even white potatoes are fine for people with diabetes. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dietitian. I'm, you know, I've only self-taught, but I've been, I've been reading a lot of books that I've been studying a lot. And um, I think that there's really good indications that on a, on a, even if a di you're diabetic, that you could probably have the sweet potato dish that I've just made, the sweet potatoes and the carrots. Okay, so Karen says, congratulations on going for it, Gina. Yes, to less processed and more veggies. Elizabeth, Elizabeth's up in Gainesville, Florida. She owns a, has a Get Fit Club. I believe sweet potatoes and carrots are okay for those watching their blood sugar. I would leave out the maple syrup. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what you could do for the sweet instead of maple syrup? And I do this sometimes, so, uh, something like this. Uh, I'll do either unsweetened applesauce or I'll just put some apples in the blender with a little bit of water and get that all nice and fine and then use that as my sweetener. So that's my healthier sweetener option. But today I'm going for delicious and tangy and sweet. So I did want to include those things today. Yeah, all right. So Karen says, I know a lot and I'm an inspiration. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you're certainly an inspiration to me. Karen and I are launching a podcast about called the Healthy Happy Hour. 
and uh, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things for eating um, healthy and having a better life. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so Mindy said she's got to go. Yeah, let me give you the last couple things here uh, for those of you who are still on. Um, it's it's perfectly good as it is, and I might I might um, if you're serving it to kids, you might want to leave out the garlic stuff at the end, the uh, garlicky juice, unless you know your kids like things a little bit spicy. But I'm going to throw one. Whoops, way too much, way too much there on the uh, raisins. Then I'm going to put in a bunch of raisins because. I like a little bit more chewiness, a little bit more consistency there. So I've got the raisins going in. And then I am originally from Georgia, Georgia. And you can't have sweet potatoes without having, you can't have sweet potatoes without having pecans. So I'm going to add just a little bit of pecans here. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so you can break them up into smaller chunks. That's probably a good idea, but I didn't do that here today. Then you have this wonderful, delicious dish, and I would love to know if you guys try this. If you do, please let me know. Um, it's all ready. What I do is I make up extra, and I just uh, freeze some of it. I'll put it in small containers, freeze it, take it out the day before I want to eat it. I'll eat a bunch right now. I mean, this is a meal for me. I will eat a big old dish of this as lunch or dinner or something like that. So thank you guys for the love. If this has been helpful, please share it. Please comment. I really appreciate you. And um, I'm going to work on my technology so that I can get my setup going better next time. Oh, you guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. You're making my day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the hearts and the love and the kisses. You guys are wonderful. And let's see, Patricia says she's a doctor but not a dietitian and they don't teach doctors. To oh, boy, that is so true. That is one of the biggest problems in uh, America today and probably in the Western world is that they don't teach doctors enough about, about nutrition. It's amazing. So, all right, so Patricia says, my in-laws were originally from Arkansas and Mississippi, so pecans have been part of our <laughs> married, of our married too. Yeah, well, uh, pecans are awesome. And, you know, again, you can do without it. It's a perfectly delicious di dish with um without the pecans without the raisins but i like to make it a little bit chewy uh the potato skins make it a little bit more chewy too so again you guys thank you for being here i know we've been going for a little bit here but again it's my first cooking demo and it's my first time making this dish exactly this way um i'm quite an experimenter so i rarely make things the same way anyway but uh thanks so much karen it was pretty easy oh let me tell you one last thing let me tell you what I do if I'm in a big hurry and I don't want to go to this trouble to make this longer version of the dish. I will use a couple of processed go-tos. And so instead of mincing up the garlic, I will use a little dish of minced garlic from the grocery store. You know, not as good as fresh garlic. And I have um, a little thing here. It's called the ginger people. I think I probably got it at like a Whole Foods. And it's ginger juice. And so I'll get the ginger juice and the and the garlic and the chili sauce here a little bit of butter and that's a good substitute and it's much faster and i'm glad you guys asked about time and all that i wanted to let you know what goes faster okay go well, write down the recipe absolutely i'll be doing that roasting sweet potatoes is amazing too yeah i have not done that yet so i will uh but i like the mash it works for me but i'm going to try the roasting Okay, guys, you take care, and um, over and out. Bye-bye.